I'm Brie for United TV. We are in West Palm Beach, Florida, about to unite Yvonne Bramble, founder of Cornerstone Leadership Mastery. She has a unique skill set to help all her clients, and let's step inside and learn more. Hi, Yvonne, we are so excited to spend today with you. First off, what is Cornerstone Leadership Mastery all about? Cornerstone Leadership Mastery is all about the individual and supporting the individual to be the best version of themselves. And how do you do that? That's done through a what I call five steps to success. Mm. And it's a values-based program. The first step is knowing what you want. Mm. Oftentimes, when I'm coaching an individual that is maybe stuck in a specific area in their life, they're not seeing their career growth, things are not really working out, it's because of not being able to follow through on either of these areas, mm. right? So first of all, do you really know what you want? So I'll work with the individual to really set up a plan and maybe even create a vision board, mm. right? to craft this plan, to start getting creative mm -hmm. where they see themselves. Mm -hmm. And so when we are clear with what we want, at least we know what direction we need to go to. The second step is to ask. Oftentimes we fail to ask for what it is that we want, mm -hmm. whether it be the promotion or just asking for help. And the third step is keeping our word. Right? Keeping our word to ourselves primarily. How many times have we promised ourselves, our, our, the, you know, the child within us that will go on that uh, spa or we'll get that massage yeah. or maybe even just go to the gym because we want to be more healthy. Mm -hmm. And then we don't keep our words to ourselves. How do we expect now to keep the word uh, to others? Mm -hmm. Right? So we'll start with, with that and really understanding what are those blockers. Mm -hmm. Also, it's showing up. Right? So we plan, we know what we want, and we're, we're really trying hard to follow through, and then we fail to show up right, for ourselves and come up with some excuse, mm -hmm. right? Like, oh, you know, I just, there's not enough time. I won't be able to make it to that networking event mm. that could have really made a difference between getting more uh, clients or finding that new position um, that you're really looking for. And in all avenues of life, there's always something to be grateful for. Mm. And so most people are not aware of that. And so we're always thinking in the negative, right? We're always thinking in what we don't have. And so that affects our energy, that affects our mood, that affects the way we show up in the world, right? But being grateful even just for life, if you have nothing to be grateful for, I'm glad I got up this morning. <laughs> That's simple. <laughs> right? So, um, and this is what I call values-based mm -hmm. uh, program, and it's very comprehensive, and it supports individuals really to be that best version of, of themselves, whether it's for um, their, their job that they're uh, going to, their career, or coming home to their family, right? Absolutely. And can you help us understand how this is different than traditional life coaching? So with traditional life coaching, it's really just um, identifying the goal and just pushing you against your will almost mm. and forcing you to do something that, that you may know that you want to, do, to achieve, but it lacks the tools, it lacks the uh, compassion, mm. it lacks the, um, the support and it's more of a driven, you know, did, did you wake up, you know, at, at the time you promised yourself you would? No I, no, I didn't, whoops, and then you feel bad. And again, that's very subjective, right? What motivates you may not motivate me, right? So it's very personal. That makes and sense. Then, right, and then through the coaching, I get to understand the individual and then tailor um, the questions and the program to what's gonna work for you. Are, are you the type of individual that, um, something that triggers you to get to the gym, right, is uh, moving towards health. I really would like to be a, a more healthier individual or moving away from something where I really don't want to, you know, 
gain those 10 pounds, right? So I'm gonna go to the gym. Mm -hmm. So it's really playing with what are our motivators. And you say that it's a partnership, you know, can you explain how the partnership works with you and your clients? Right, like one of um, the clients I worked with, she just really wanted to have it all and was working full time, she had a family, and um, to, to care for kids and going to get her a master's degree. It's really discouraging when you have certain expectations for yourself in each of these areas and you're not being able to achieve them. And so what we work with is being able to identify what your priorities are, right? We use a tool um, um, like more like a wheel of life. Right, we were able to use that wheel of life to segment each of the areas mm. um, of her life, like you know, family, career, finances, uh, school, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And then what we did was we identified from a percentage, right, from the from um, the center of the wheel through to the edge. If you were to measure what percentage you're, you you are at this time what percentage would you be? Let's go ahead and color that I in. I like that. <laughs> I like that a lot. Fill that in. And then, you know, a wheel is nice and, you know, round and it helps you get to places. Oh. But we noticed that the wheel was kind of, you know, lopsided. more lopsided. <laughs> yeah. And so uh, we were able to very clearly gauge uh, where uh, this individual is in the present moment and then assess in these areas, which area we want to tweak and modify, what, you know, what percent, what is our goal, right? What's that happy place? And what kind of training has provided you with all these tools to help so many people? I've been a project manager for 15 years. Oh. I started my career at um, IBM, heavy infrastructure work, and I worked with uh, Procter & Gamble out of Ohio. I received a master's in business administration because I wanted to um, improve my career from more of a technical to a project management so that I can influence and support others to achieve organization goals. As a certified NLP coach and emotional wisdom training core alignment specialist, my clients are able to get results, improve relationships, gain more confidence, and achieve success in the areas where they felt stuck. Once I was able to achieve certain career success, I realized that there are personal areas in my life that really I wanted to focus in on. And so I reached out to a life coach and I saw what a difference um, that made in my life to create a vision board, right? To have a plan and to stay focused. When you go surfing, they tell, or even paddle boarding, they tell you to look forward, look towards the horizon and not to look at your feet because mm -hmm. you're gonna tend to look at your feet. The problem with that is if we look at our feet, you what's go gonna down. happen? We go down, we fall down. And so it's like, oh my gosh, I'm like, it's a life lesson. Wherever you look, you it's go. And so you need to look at the horizon, look and stay focused on your goal. And that's gonna really help you achieve it. It's gonna help you stay up. Mm. It's fascinating that your testimonials on your website are from all around the world. How do you work with people? I work with individuals virtually, and that allows me to have a greater impact. I've had clients in New York, in the East Coast, the Midwest, Tennessee, uh, California, Texas, uh, the UK, uh, Africa, and France. <laughs> and so it, it's really awesome to be able to work with um, individuals in all walks of life. And we just want to know, what do you do for fun when you're oh not <laughs> you know, life coaching and helping all these people? I absolutely enjoy reading. I love to learn from others. And um, my, my favorite authors, um, Bob Proctor, Gabby Bernstein, Marie Forleo, Wayne Dyer, Eckhart Tolle. These are, are books that I've read for my personal journey. From, through reading these uh, these uh, types of books, uh, mm -hmm. spiritual based, mm -hmm. behavioral psychology based, to understand why we do what we do. <laughs> why do I have a goal for myself and then lack the follow through? And so in that search, right, I can understand. Maybe if I didn't have to touch my gut stuff, right, because I really needed to get help. How lucky are we all because <laughs> now you're sharing your gifts with so many Thank you so much for your time. Thank you.
We are so impressed meeting Yvonne and learning how she's helped people both personally and professionally. For your free consultation, visit her website and you can uncover your best self. Until next time, I'm Brie, uniting you with the world, one video at a time.